We should be live. Yes, we are. Well, Miss Ellen, how are you? I'm good. It's awesome yeah. to be here on time for once. I know. Usually you drift in. Uh, yeah, well. So today we are doing the Storm Giant, the last in our, our series here. Um, we'll see how things go. If we come back or not, we'll see. We'll, we'll take it from there. But I hope you enjoy what we got planned for today. Now, this one was kind of tough because how do you fit this into an hour? This is a very big piece. So I had a jump start and do a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm going to walk you through what I did, why I did it, so we can get working on what we do. So you ready, Helen? I am ready. Well, there you go. That's all I needed to hear. Uh, let's go to there. Okay. Uh, no, that's not the camera I wanted to go to. Let's go back here. <laughs> There you Did go. And as you can see, we, we painted Helen, and Helen looks great. I know. Wrong. Camera. I didn't even paint myself this morning, folks. I mean. <laughs> All right. That's what I needed to do. There we go. Um, now we got it. And let me just do hit that, get it full screen. Oh, we're off to great stuff. We're already behind. Run. We're already behind. <laughs> Mo, howdy. Mo, how you doing? All right. So. This is what their interpretation of the storm giant was. Okay. Uh -huh. I didn't see it that way. <laughs> yeah. Well, what else is new? I know. I, I, I kind of went different. Uh, I wanted to really mess with them a bit and, and do a couple things. So what I've done so far is this. Okay. So as you can see, it really looks nasty, dark, and dirty. Well, there's a reason for all this, okay? Uh, where am I? Where am I? I'm going to have to back out a little bit on this big boy. Yeah, yeah. he's so huge. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is a monster. Yeah, he, fit, he fits in there. So what I did is I took some electric blue. <laughs> yes, Mo. <laughs> definitely. All right. Some electric, um, electric blue and that's what i did his skin with okay it doesn't look that i'll explain why then i took um strong tone or a uh, dark tone i have the strong tone here uh strong tone i put over the gold that i did okay and uh over the brown leather okay that's what i wanted to do so i did that this all here it looks like I painted it gray, but it is just dark tone. I really? went dark tone over over white. Uh, lead belcher in here. Okay. Followed by dark tone. Okay. And I left this alone because we'll do this last. Uh, lead belcher here. Uh, I, I used a... I actually used a Citadel paint for this. Where is it? Hold on. Hold on. Uh, Rhinox Hide. I used I okay. used for the top here and all the leather part. Yeah, that's a great leather color. Okay, and then the boots here. Okay. Stuff. Good so, to see you, Danica. Great to have you. All right, I've actually got to slide over a bit. Okay, there. Oh we go. man, Rob. You know what? I was thinking the same thing, except my robot vacuum is in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it got stuck. <laughs> I really just want to cut this carpet. I really want to cut this carpet more than you'll ever know. First world but problem. I right? asked the queen. I asked the queen, and she and said, she said no. no. <laughs> Which means no. Oh. Right. So now, Martha, after I, the lightning will get painted. Just stay tuned. Oh yeah, watch. Uh, I'm I, gonna say I, 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 I saved that for last. Okay. I made so, questions. So, anyways, here, um, the thing I wanted to do was um darken everything up and then we bring it back out and that's where we're going to get our all our detail okay so again electric blue for the flesh followed by a blue wash a blue tone wash okay, okay. all right uh every, all the white parts on him uh just a dark tone that's all i did that's all i wanted to do to get this dark i wanted to get in the recesses because i'm going to build outwards okay uh, then lead belcher or a plate metal for army painter in here, uh, in his armor here 
over these plates here, followed by a dark wash, okay? Um, this is a greedy gold, okay? Uh -huh. And like I said, I used uh, a Rhinox hide. And actually, the stone here, all I did was put the wash on here. I just put a wash on there for now. That pre-prime just works really Yeah, the pre-prime just did did uh, a, a lot of wonderful things. All right, so now let's get to work. Let's get it get it done. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back. We're going to bring some of this color back, okay? I'm going to be using my master brush, uh, my master class dry brush from um, our good friends at Army Painter. That's gone they're... live yet by now. Huh? That's gone live, right? The video, say? the video on the dry brushes. That's live. Yeah, we're live now. No, the your video reviewing the dry brushes. Oh yeah, that's okay. live. I, I think it's I, live. I can't remember. Well, maybe if you looked at the channel every once in a while. I do. <laughs> every You've been very busy, day. Young lady. Oi. Do you wash the WizKids minis before painting? Just nope. throw paint on them out of the box, Mo. Yep. All right. So all oh, I want to do <laughs> all I want to do yeah. is I'm going to I'm going to see how much I have here. Hopefully there's not much on here cuz all I want to do is just kind of yeah, that's exactly what I want to do. And, and what color are we currently using? Uh that's electric blue. Electric blue. Electric blue. So all I want to do is just very lightly he has a lot of veins and things like that and in his knuckles here and all i'm doing is just lightly going over the work that we've already created here all right and i'm leaving a little bit of that wash on there all right there's his elbows gotta get his elbows i want to get and i just want to lightly because what this is going to do is help bring out his musculature i can never say that word but i think everybody knows what i'm trying to say all right just go with it oh no all right, because if you notice in in the picture, he's pretty light, but but there was no like no detail to him. And all I want to do is just catch some of that detail. But he also has like he's got veins in his arms here, and I want to accentuate those. All right, because you know if you look at that picture, he just he doesn't look three D. Now you can see the veins in his arms. Can you see that, Hal? Or do I need to go bigger? Uh, well, you can probably see it. I've got my stream yard. Yeah, you can see it. Sorry. I had okay, to, there we go. There, I, had to, I had to switch my... Oh. And I want to be careful around here because I really don't want to get the... I don't want to get that, that, that lightning bolt too much. Not that it's going to affect what I'm going to do. But you can see, now all of a sudden he's... His skin's coming to where I want it. Okay, let's get a little bit more of that. Let's get a little bit more of that onto our palette. Yes. His left now, this is the one time you really don't want to... You really don't want to um, thin your dry brushing. I'm using this... I'm so cheap that I don't even really, you know, get a new paper towel for crying out loud. Ugh. That doggone wife of mine. <laughs> she needs new uh, new Devil Christmas woman. decorations, so you get. Well, used no, no, towel. no, no. The problem is, is that she, she wants to. She wants to have extra money so she can, spend uh, on, on oh oh the fall village is up oh. What oh pain. man. What a pain in the neck that was. Oh. Well, you'll have to you'll have to talk her into giving us a tour sometime. Yeah. We'll do that someday. We used to do that stuff like that. Remember the old days? I do. I kind of miss it. Yes, I do too. We're still working on it with uh, uh, Ele Army Painter's Electric Blue. Electric Blue. And all I want to do. Or whatever color you used as your base shade for the skin. Yeah. Use what you want. This is what I did. Right. All right. But I want to so be careful. This is the 
but it's it's you used our uh, the electric blue is the base shade so you're bringing the base color back out again yeah so after what i did the base color was electric blue so what i wanted to do and and, and you see now all of a sudden notice how he's not Ooh. that that like dark dark blue yeah, anymore. yeah he looks good yeah so all i want to do is i want to get that shade in there to bring out some of the detail which i did mm -hmm. perfectly yeah uh, i'm happy with gets it down in those recesses real nice yeah and this this dry brush is just glorious because it really helps and really just moves in just exactly what i need it to do there boom i'm very happy with that all right now yes a paper towel is good until you run out of white space on it and even then some and just let it dry it'll be fine. I just wanna there we go. I wanna just I'm gonna put this one aside for a little bit. Hello, Andrew. Oh, he's excited because Arsenal won the er, won in the arena league. Arsenal oh they stay up. Yeah, they stay up yeah. top. Yeah. But barely. Actually yeah. the winners were Southampton. Figure that one out. Hey, out. anybody can have a good year. Yeah. Especially in the arena league when Absolutely. Yeah. We don't have a clue what the hell we're doing. But we do have fun doing it. <laughs> yeah, we do. We Just do ask with that. Tiger. <laughs> Tiger's either either immensely loved or immensely hated, and he doesn't but, care either way. It's this his sounds show. like a familiar problem. Yeah. That's pr pretty much us. Mm -hmm. We're just here. Really we're, loved, so, uh, really back, loved back or hated. Up a bit, we had a uh, we had a, a gentleman. Uh, can I uh, look it up? Just a what? second. That we had somebody up here who says he was looking forward to painting, and all I can tell you is, paint, dude. Pick up those brushes and put paint on a mini. There's no, you're, it's never going to get any easier to tackle that first mini. Nope. All. Yeah. Just pick it up and put paint on it. And if you don't get it, if you get it wrong, let it dry and then put some more paint on top of it. It's just paint. It's not. No, the you always got to listen. You, 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 listen, I've got minis that I painted and I went, oh, my God, did I really paint those? Yep. And they were from years and years ago. You just you get better in time. All right. Or sometimes, you know, just following this stuff and now you know if, if i had half the stuff there's that so these many young great kids tools have out there on these youtube days. i mean my god these kids are so talented now but they also have right in his face i really just want to very lightly go over cut in here there there's a go. lot of great tools out there now too that oh that god make it so much more approachable yeah, I mean, even even from when I started, what? when I started painting, well, at having watched your videos, um, five or you know three or four years ago, the the technology, the the things that are available, the information out there has gotten so much better. Now, next thing I'm going to do is tomorrow. There's going to be a video that that's going up and. We're going to be talking about a set that is coming out uh, from Army Painter, which is really cool. This is going to be out in November. Uh, this is the Undead Paint Set, and it has it just has some really fantastic paints. It also comes with this really cool Lich figure, which is going to play a huge role in the upcoming Frostgrave. Uh, if you guys didn't uh... see that video as we're getting ready to do that in the next week or so um finally uh as soon as like i said uh, our little band is lifted so um it has a, a whole bunch of great colors from it so uh i like this glue uh ghoul gray and i'm going to be using this uh what i'm going to be using this for is i'm going to bring this back okay so it doesn't look so ugh. so we're cool. going to use some of this gold gray, and we're gonna dry brush it in there. I don't wanna lose the, the, um, I don't wanna lose the definition I got from the wash 
going into grooves. So I, I've got to be very, very easy with what I do here. So again, I'm just going to take some of this paint off. There we go. The Tiger Rocks. Thank you, Andrew. I think the Tiger Rocks, too. I thought the Tiger Rocks from when he was first adopted. Oh, God. That was an interesting phone call, let me tell you. Yeah, that was, that was, a, that was one of my favorite phone calls. That was a Helen, great phone call. Helen, I have this idea. Huh? <laughs> yeah, th those are Rob's famous last words. Uh, Army Painter Half Pots are great to explore which color theirs you like and don't like. They are. They're also really good, like... I'm I'm an occasional mini painter, painter, so I don't really need a giant pot of paint. I mean, unless I'm going to take on the Cthulhu baby, um, you know, which took like four things of paint. I, I for me to use a full thing of paint is going to take me years anyway. So, mm -hmm. it's a great do. way of getting. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, that's all I want to do. It's Great just, way of getting getting a lot of colors that for uh, you know, not a lot. How many painters great back that, And yeah. all I want to do is just come in here. So and we're just doing... go over the top. Now I'm gonna have to probably touch up some of the mm -hmm. the brown. That, that goes without saying. Uh, Rowan, yes, the ghoul gray comes from the undead collection of the Nalzer's Marvelous Pigments from the Army Painter. That's yep. Correct. And that's going to be, that's on pre-sale over at our friend's uh, miniature market. He's having another huge sale as always. Oh my word. I have got to get over there. It's been forever. That's they're like my, they're like my closest, like <laughs> almost real game store. And I, it's... It's Missouri. And I'm just going to go over the beard a little bit with this with this color. Oh. Really. But Where I'm does one go... find the half pots? Uh, Zublik, the half pots are usually in their sets. Yeah. They have sets of them. Mm -hmm. And they really do a great job. All right. So coming in here, catching that corner there. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. Get a little bit of the undercarriage. So we're doing a little bit underneath his uh, kilt there. and Well, yeah, like, because nobody... Yeah, kind of a fur baldric, it looks like, that you were doing, or was that his beard? Uh, that's his beard. His beard you were lightning. Couldn't tell. Yeah. And um, I keep on catching the brown part here, but that's okay. Uh huh. Because hitting... I'm, I'm going to take... And go over with a little beastal brown, and boom. Cool. We'll be good. We'll be good. But now all of a sudden, it has that definition in there that I want. All right. Perfect. But I'm not worried about his facial structure. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, all right. Cool. So let's clear this brush off. Let it dry for a second. That's another thing. If you're going to paint, if you're paint batch painting, sometimes having more than one copy of a brush can be good. Let one dry while you're working with another one. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take some Rhinox hide, hide, and I'm just going to clean up some of the, the mess I made, because that's what happens. And I'm not going to thin this down. Oh, maybe I will. I'll thin it down a little bit. All right. And then all I want to do is just come back and paint that over and get the little areas that I missed. Did WizKids change to Army Painter? I thought they were with Vallejo. Uh, WizKids. Well, they been... were with Army. Uh, they were. Uh, they were with WizKids for a bit. Um, Vallejo. I think. Uh, I, I don't know what they do. They've been. Yeah, they've they've been with uh, they've been with uh, they've got several sets now. I know out with Army Painter, so I don't know about previously, but I do know they've they've released several sets now with of the Nalzar's marvelous pigments. Now they may have another series with another paint. They did Zombicide. They did mm -hmm. a whole bunch of things. And Vallejo, Vallejo is good. Just not wrong. Army Army Painter has been really good about 
about sets designed or aimed right at a particular game or set of figures or something. So oftentimes I, I find them to be, that's going to, if, if there is a particular special set, it's going to be Army Painter. They do a phenomenal job and, and they've been very, very nice to the channel here. I, I can't thank them enough for all they, the things they, they do. Keep, you know, make sure you shake it because if you if you lose a bunch of that medium mm -hmm. right off the bat because you didn't shake it well enough, you're going to regret it. Eventually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're touching we up. We're Just touching, touching up, up uh, what, what I had, had gone over. You know, when I was dry brushing, because, yep. you, you know, I do get Which, to be a little bit of a loose cannon. You know, it, again, it shows that, I mean, you're putting a dark brown over a gray. And, you know, if you don't like the color you did, paint over it. Mm -hmm. It's not the end of the world, folks. Nothing's the end of the world. It's a miniature. Yeah. Or in this case, I'm not sure miniature is the right word for that thing. There you go. All right, and just over there, and boom, we're good. All right. All right, big fella. Right. Next. All right. Here we go. I'm going to uh, kick that off. Uh, next, we got to start bringing these the metallics out here. All right, so uh, you know what? Hold on. Before I do that, I saw it's going to drive me nuts. It's gonna drive me nuts. I had saw something earlier that I missed on his boot. Oh no. There we go. Especially since you had that color out already. Yeah. So I just wanna make sure I get that. And there was a little spot I hit the gold too much with. That's what it was. All right, there we go. All right. Because that was a little Mo gold happen. Sweet. Mo is is uh endorsing the uh Nalzer's sets, the D D sets. Well, thank you, Mo. Coming from you now, everybody's going to run out and buy it. Um, by the way, if you don't know who Mo is, don't worry about it. He'll tell you all about it very shortly. I'm going to do something with this camera. I just want to angle this a Mo's, little. Mo's the third in our in our uh, Baker Street Irregulars. That's right. And, you know, he didn't help with one thing. Did you notice that? Hey, it, it, you know, give the man a break. He needs look, apparently look at bifocals. You, Switzerland. Look at you, Switzerland. I mean, did you All see right. the size of that type? You try reading that. All right, here. What I'm saying is, he didn't have an he didn't have an idea. He did not have an idea. To, For what it's worth, I, I go Mo. What do you think of that? Ah, yeah. Go ahead. For what it's worth, I still say it's Lord. What's his face? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know either. You, you, you Tune in, right folks. There, we may not be able to get there this weekend, but for sure it'll be coming up. No, nah, it won't be this weekend. Uh, this weekend, oh. I, I've got. Oh yeah, this weekend. This weekend, the man himself is busy. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually so, taking so some working, time. Uh, All right. So now, oh, what we're going short. to do is sword, helmet, these uh, claves here, or whatever. And our our color is shining silver. Yeah, we're going to go with a little shiny silver. Brighten up our day. Shining silver. All right. Let's see how it does. Let's see how it does. Uh, and let's see what we get here. I may go with a Necron compound, only because it really shines. We'll, we'll make a determination very shortly. Very shortly. Have um, we? I don't know. Have you it? tried Turbo Dork Paint? My local game store got some in, and they do a color shifting paints and metallics. Huh. That's nice. I have never heard of Turbo Dork Paint, but mm -hmm. it sounds interesting. Sure does. Looking. Hey, Dragon. Send a. I was gonna say, if you if you happen to grab some, send us a send us a picture. Picture. We'd love to see what it looks like. Yeah. There you go. All right. So now, all I want to do is just kind of very lightly <laughs> bring 
Moe's want, Mo wants to play with color shifting paints, but has nothing right now that will work with them. We'll make something up. After mm -hmm. all, one of our guys, one of our earlier things, I can't remember what it was, but they were going to paint, gonna paint some of those chits that he has. There you go. How about the chips? No, just joking. All right. I don't want to take all that wash off. All okay. I want to do is I kind of just want to. Oh, wow. It looks like a knife. It looks like a blade that's kind of been like a galvanized blade more than a shiny yeah, it's, blade. It's, it. it's seen better days. There's been many battles through the ages. We want to really make that seem that way. All right. That oh, ends up like, I was watching a guy that did the the Hot Wheels, like restores the Hot Wheels. That is intense. Just saying. All right. And then here, I really want to be very careful what I do. And look what I'm doing here. <coughs> All I'm doing is just bring it. Are you dying? No. Okay. Mo made me laugh. Oh jeez. No painting counters. Only clipping is okay. Ah. And just going over the top, really making that 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 chainmail really stand out. That's all I want to do here. Really good. All right, just nice and easy. No worries. How, how much time? Oh, we're halfway there. Good. All yep. right. We're doing good. You're doing yeah. great. All right. I, I, I can't say I'm doing great because I'm just sitting You're here just choking. chatting, choking, and occasionally letting you know what color Rob is working on just as a right. And then up top here, this helmet, I really kind of just want to, nice and lightly, really just kind of bring that out a little bit, very carefully. Very carefully go around. Oh, man. All right. Come on, big fella. Work with me here. There we go. Now, taking a little bit of this and just coming down the middle here over these plates. My goodness. Making these also really kind of stand out. Yeah, easy yeah. does it. Easy does it in there. It's it watching the Hot Wheels restore guy is almost as good, but not quite as watching Rob paint a mini because the outcome of the fantasy minis, to me at least, is significantly more satisfying. The Hot Wheel mini guy. Now I've yeah, heard there, of everything. There's a, there's, there's a couple there's guys that for restore everything. Hot Wheels and like there's guys restoring old toys. Yeah. There's, I mean. Literally, well, there's if you a lot can of talented of it, people out here, and that's yeah. the beauty of that's why TV's dying is because now people are just seeing that there are a lot of people interested in a lot of different things. Well, that you know, just because it doesn't get a 20 rating or whatever it is on, that, on TV doesn't mean original... that somebody's not interested in it. There's something well, when, for it. When's the last time we had an original storyline? Um, last time I did my D&D &D thing. <laughs> Well, I meant like on TV. Oh no! I, I, like I said, <laughs> um, yeah, there's yeah. you know they used up everything. Space 1999, maybe. <laughs> All right, let me just go back here a little bit. Ex Mo says Expanse. Yeah, I haven't watched that. I have to check that out. Okay. I just don't good. have time for TV. I don't have time for anything. Who has time for TV? Oh, I just made a mistake. I'll have to fix that. All right. There, now you can see it's starting to come together now. It's starting to come together now. My boy's starting to come together. He looks All pretty right. darn good there. I'm trying All to get right. this done within an hour. because I want to be done with it. <laughs> um, let's see. 
What do I want to do here? Okay, I'm just going to touch something up real quick. Okay. It just seems to be my day to just make mistakes. My hand is killing me, to be honest with you. And that's what's hurt me. Yeah. That. And that's the reason that we're going to be going on break. It's not that we won't necessarily, it's not that we, we're not saying we're not going to be back. It's Rob's. We're just hand. not sure if we're going to be back. It, you know, yeah. it, it, it's died in popularity and we'll see. We'll Rob's see. hands have if we just get enough, not, If we get yeah. enough emails and people want us to come back, we'll come back. But if Rob's not, hands we'll move on to something else. Need a break for a while. Well, Especially not, these 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 minis are things. so detailed that I've got to get some things fixed, and it's only going to be a couple of weeks. But we'll we'll see what the response is as far as if we're missed or not. If we're not missed, eh, we'll just go off into the sunset. Like I'll I say, go out with your boots on. Go out I'll miss it. On. We'll see. That's okay. Oh really? What? I have a spammer calling me. Oh, good. I told them where they could stick it. All right, there we go. All right, fix the areas that I saw. You know, the funny thing is, everybody thinks, oh, the bigger the, the miniature, the better, you know, the more popular. I mean, the easier it is to, to do it. That's not true. Not true. Because the bigger the miniature... Oh, uh, Doggy says you're still popular with him. No, oh, thank you. I appreciate that more than you know, my friend. Oh, no, you better be back. Come back, Rob. We need you. <laughs> Zeblik, please come back. I'm Don't just. Gonna, I'm going to make a career of just being on um, Whiskey Charlie. Dude, how'd that go? Huh? Oh, I I made that show. I made that I show. Out. <laughs> I made that show. Yes, in some ways, either you're in more, in others, more difficult when dealing with large minis. Yep. They need me. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> uh, if you can't there you go. Me. We'll sign you tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. I want to work for what Kevin works for. Not I said the little hand, little uh -huh. red hand. I said not I said the little red hand. I got enough issues with where I work. All right. All right. I just wanted to clean that up a little bit. I made a huge mistake that I didn't even realize I did, and it happens. Listen, you're going to make mistakes, but you can fix them. I mean, it's as simple as that. You can fix them. Uh, and then just right in there again. Uh, we have it. You know, we put the transformers on the vote when we asked the community for C series two. Yeah. And you know, they the only thing that got less votes than the transformers was the My Little we're, Ponies. We're on series five, I think. I know, but was it was no, it was series three. Was one of them we four. asked for it was series four. Series four. four. Yeah, we had we one of them we asked for for y'all to to chime in and tell you the transformers were just not popular all right so now we're going to go with some greedy gold we're going to really make that gold come out now all right we're going to make it really pot all right and that can only be done a little bit of greedy gold come on come on up. oh there we go there you go and then all I want to do with this is just go over. There we go. And now it's just touching these areas and really just making them stand out. Very lightly go, going over. You don't have to hit this really, really hard because you got a wash that's gone over there. So you don't need a lot on your brush. You just need to kind of go over nice and easy, and it's really going to it's gonna really pop for you. And this is greedy gold again? Yep, greedy gold. 
and that metallic really makes a big difference especially when you go over it the second time and whoop come up top here come up into the brow here a bit nice and easy nice and easy there we go look at that see the helmet what I made the helmet a little bit harder for myself because I decided to go around the trim here with the gold I wanted the helmet to stand out I wanted him to look majestic and glorious and greedy gold and just come over there we go and you see where that's really starting to stand out right now uh -huh. all right hey pete pete shirey in the house pete how are you i haven't seen you in a while Cup balls well oh man i've been he knows i've been busy he and i talk every once in a while when we get a chance yeah uh, but this is all right there we go and we're gonna sit that up there and then we're gonna come in there hey you guys got packs this weekend don't you don't forget about packs online i think it's this weekend See if he answers because I'm concentrating here. He's just chilling. Glad to see you back and painting. Yeah, he's been, Mark, uh, Rob's been painting every week. Trying. Although he's. We're going, going on, a, we're going, we're going on, on vacation. Yeah. We're going on break from the channel for a while. Well, from painting. Yeah. We got lots of painted. We got lots of, we got so much stuff painted. PAX is this week until the 20th. Until the 20th. When's uh, the um, the showcase for um, Cool Mini or not? As you know, he's associated with the great company, CMON. Oh. It's called CMON now. I keep on forgetting. They've got a bunch of really cool things going on. I'm excited. Although I gotta quit. Huh? I, I have a I have a, a to I have to clean out my basement. So is that what Pete said? No, I have to clean out my basement. Well, that wasn't that wasn't something that everybody needed to know. Yeah, well, <laughs> my basement is currently full of my games, and I have to stick something else. I need I've got a, uh -oh. another game coming in. So uh oh, there may Could be, be it a, for Helen. Maybe a giant collection. Uh, D stash coming up. Mm -hmm. uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan, or no, nothing. Taking a break from the channel. Um, Rob's going to get some work done on his hands, so there may be a few days he's not around, but we have lots of painted games. Mostly he's, he's talking about taking just a break from painting. Um, see if he can get his hands back. In some, some I've got a lot of order. things I've got to send out. I've got, I've got a, uh, the queen hasn't felt well. Um, she's kind of had a few things going on. Um, I was away for a bit. Um, so we're going to try to catch up on all the things that we need to catch up on. There's so many and, things that we've talked about and not gotten done that. Yeah, so we're going to play catch up over the next couple of weeks. All right, there we go. There, bum, 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 bum. That's, that's, there's not much, much to it, huh? Not much to it. It looks All right, great. Hold on here. Huh? It looks great. Let's get in there. Uh, how much time do we got? Oh, got another 20 minutes? 20 minutes, yep. No problem. All right, I'm going to use a dry paint. It's called Longbeard Gray. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to, I really want to highlight his face. Uh, I need, first of all, I want to get his eyes in there. So I'm going to use uh, this Army Painter um, face brush. Insane. And is then, that the insane detail? Yeah, I'm going to do a little detail here. Um, his, his eyebrow, 
and everything is what you really want to accentuate because he has this like menacing look his face is is just remarkable and that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to try to bring that out a little bit all right <laughs> zeblik is offering to come over and help get through the games there has only been one person that has been in the sacred dungeon all right not for lack of us chatting about it but yeah and uh that is tina the board gamer she's and you saw what ha if you ever saw the halloween video i know you saw what happened to tina that's, that's part of why i won't come play games you know i don't yeah. do horror all right so i'm going to take some of this this dry and i'm just i really want this mustache to, to show in here there we go there we go big fella it really enhances his face and to just come down and use this a little bit. And then he has these eyebrows here, which he's frowning. Pretty much how I, I look most of the time. Halloween party at Rob's house. What's that? Moses Halloween party at Rob's house. Hmm. Uh, you you got to see that video, Mo. What, what was it called? Tina. I can't remember. Tina, but I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, Tina looks and Rob's. It's one of her more popular videos. Poor Tina. Poor Tina. Hi, I miss Tina. Finally exposed Rob's collection. Yes. That's what it was. That's a video everybody needs to watch. It, it's definitely worth it. If you're if if you're new to the channel, you need to check it out. Then you, you will not believe it. It is one of the most historic videos. Did you pre-order your PS5, Rob? Uh, did not get a chance to. So it doesn't look like I'm going to get one. I was pretty disappointed. I couldn't get one pre-ordered. Bummer. But that's all right. I'll live. They'll come around. They'll be around. They'll come when they come. I'll get one when I can. All right. The next thing I want to do is I want to take um, some white scar. And I want to try to get those uh, eyes in. Is that a, that's just a citadel? A regular That's one? just a simple citadel white scar. Uh, I'm going to use this. I don't have to water it down. I just want to get it in there. Yeah, that one, Mo. <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, that He says, oh, I did see that video. <laughs> Reminded me of the end of The Silence of the Lambs. Oh, yeah, he watched one. it? Apparently. How did he watch it? Wasn't it's, it? It's public on your channel, Rob. No, I know, but it was a long video. No, he'd watched it earlier. Oh, 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 not just now. All right, in his eye here, I just want to hit this in here. This is always one of those hard things that you got to do. And it's never easy. His eyes are just white. It's been out for two years. Yes. Yes, it has been. All right, because I went over a little bit, I'm just going to take a little bit here and just clean that up real quick. My hand is not steady whatsoever. Timey wimey magic powers. Yes, that's exactly how he watched it. Timey wimey magic powers. Ah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, finally, for the big fella here. Finally, for the big fella here. Where's this thing? There we go. I'm going to show you how to do the 
lightning bolt. Sweet! What everybody's been waiting for. Yes. Uh, I think I'm going to go with an ultra, mar ultra marine blue contrast. Contrast, you say? Yes. Contrast. Now, I haven't figured this out yet. I was going to go green with it. And I said, uh, then everybody would be looking at the doggone thing too much. Uh -huh. I just want this to kind of blend in, but not overtake everything. So let's see what we get here. This might be too dark. Yeah, that's a little bit too dark. That's a little bit too dark. All right. Boo. Nope, I don't like it. I don't like it. And as usual. I don't we're all like it. Here, folks. Huh? It's that easy, folks. Didn't like no. it. Do something different. Yep. Yeah. It's just a hair too dark. And the contrast paints really work pretty well on that. Um hmm. Let me see what I got here. Let Let me see. The magic goodness. Here we go. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to... Talisar Blue might be good. Purple would be interesting at most. Uh, keep talking. What do y'all think, guys? While mm -hmm. Rob's digging in his box of magical goodness. Well, the thing is, I'm trying to decide what I want to do. And, and like I said, a lot of this stuff is, you know, people were always asking, well, can you put the paints up before you do it? I, I don't know what I'm going to do until I do it. <laughs> and that's not a great thing. It's just yep. I fly by the seat of my pants. Well... I mean, we did the first series. We did a lot. We pre-published a lot, and and it worked well. But then I changed something. Yeah, but but yeah, and then we'd change something, and people would get all unhappy. And uh, maybe this kind of bull. Hmm. All right. Let's get white it. with blue. Let me see here. Let me see here. Let's see what we get here. Now, this might be interesting. Hmm. A little bit of a 80s lightning bolt. All right, let's see. Yeah, I like that a lot better. All right, so we're going with the teal. It seems to be a popular color for... Uh, spell effects and elemental effects well it works yeah it 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 doesn't it's not too close it's not too far yeah it works mm -hmm. and for me here that's all that matters that's all that matters i i just didn't want something too dark and thermic ethermatic yeah, blue ether ether thematic blue. ether thematic yeah yeah, see, that's the way. That's. Oh, here comes the rainstorm. Another reason that we try really hard to get these done in an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be over soon, and then I'll get to my oil painting and all my other stuff I want to do. All right. potential for canvas stories again yeah it's coming Ooh. back i figured well we built a whole section for it uh, I, last, I like in canvas the spring and, yeah we did and because of the weather i couldn't do it uh, not only that but i found the airbrush station that we're going to be doing some airbrushing with Ooh. yes gerandus it is aether thematic blue all right. And I had to look up how to say that. 
you're welcome. <laughs> and of course, they put this lightning bolt in the weirdest position. So, you, you know, it's like, good yeah. luck. Ma, that's all right. I'm making it work. And I hit something already. And we'll touch that up afterwards again. You're going to make mistakes. Yep. The How one thing fix we, one of the things, yeah, when I did a couple of of uh, these figs that have the the spell effects, the translucent spell effects, and they are challenging. But it's kind of important that you keep the spell effect as clean as you can while you're painting. Yeah, that's that is one of the real challenges of this. It's if you keeping. get your if you get your contrast paint or you know your your paint you're using on your spell effect on your mini, you can fix it. Vice versa, it's really tough. Yeah, that's very true. That spell effect likes to kind of suck up paint. All right, I actually like this. All right. It looks really good. Yeah. It was a good choice. Yep. All right, I will show you guys the final thing here in a moment. Let me just do a couple things here. Just touch it up. And uh, what was I looking for? Of course, I put the paint away. Just to remind you. I was you taking out the other paint. I was trying to clean up while I was putting the paint away. Nice. Uh, oh, no, I got it. It's right there. Greedy gold. If you like what you see here on Rob's Tabletop World, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Click that bell because there's great content most every day. Yeah. And we would very much appreciate it if you headed over to Twitch and joined our Twitch, ar Twitch army. In fact, yeah. if you're Amazon Prime, you get a free... Uh, subscription to a Twitch channel every week, every month, and we would very much appreciate it if you would consider us. Right. Yes, blue tack and frog tape has a use to cover uh, spell effects. Exactly. Okay, Although good. Rob's so good, he doesn't have to cover them. He just manages to avoid them. That's right. He's the man right there. Boys, Helen, what do you want to raise? Do do do. <laughs> nah, I'm here because it's fun. And I thought I you were here because you were loyal. <laughs> that too. Uh, I'm here for because. How's that? Yeah, that sounds about as good as anything. <laughs> that sounds about as good as anything. And then let's see that 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 that. And all right, let's put the big boy on the wheel. Oh boy. Let's see if I can. Oh, let's go come up here. So, as you saw, what is that thing that says the bell in front of you? <laughs> when I had a whole screen, you could read it. Oh, I see. Uh, let's go here. Uh, 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 uh. And let's bring our thing up a little bit. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up, back up. Thank God for this movable camera. This thing has yes. saved this channel more than once. It is super convenient. Yep. Uh, let's do this. And this, and then this. <laughs> Come on, Helen, some music. Oh, the uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, that. So, <laughs> so you can see the difference of my version of this guy yeah. and uh you know this version. 
All right, so what sort of music are you supposed to do for a storm giant? I don't know. I don't know. All that popped into my head was like the bad tune from Super, like the underground tune from <laughs> Super Mario Brothers. And that's just totally wrong because he's a storm giant. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, you know, Plus definitely just coming off of a copyright strike. Let's not. Yeah. Know. Yeah. Let's not. Oh, that's right. There you go. Uh, but, but definitely, uh, you know, a little something different. A different look on it okay um compared to you know what they wanted or what they did so i just I, you know sometimes you just got to take things and see what you see inside your head and, christopher uh, bartlett says he likes yours better than the whiz kids mom. Well, thank you so much Yay. king of the ones you make it look easy it it's not easy but it's not hard either it's just yeah. patience and practice and just keeping at it you know just keeping at it. Like I can lighten that beard a little bit, but uh, like, maybe a little bit of just a, and a just on light. time. Just when he's done, guess what he starts doing? Thunder. Because there's awesome. thunder here right now. So the storm giant is happy with how he looks, and he's going to go out and he's going to have a thunderstorm here in lovely Central so. Florida. And because, it'll be amazing. Yes, it'll be the greatest thunderstorm ever. I'm sure we'll lose power. So there you have it. There you have it. We have the a community storm question. giant. I took some liberties and, and changed some things up. I made things a little bit brighter. But uh, I like to think uh it came out all right. It wasn't hard. Okay. Um just just a just a lot of fun to work on a big figure like that. But it also exposes your mistakes more. So you have to be a little bit more controlled. So uh, working on big figures isn't easier. Uh, sometimes tiny ones because they hide your mistakes easier. <laughs> yep. Especially like the, the cloth that's like flat in that can be a real yeah. challenge. Well, that's it. We've had a blast. Okay. We've gone since, what was it, February? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was start, early February. We started this before lockdown. Yeah, we've gone every, almost every every single week. We've only missed like uh, four weeks because we took a, a break uh, for a couple, a couple of weeks. Yep, we but we've got all the way break. here to September, and we have done a ton of figures for WizKids. And this has been so much fun. It's been so enjoyable. Um, and, yeah. I want to thank our sponsor, Miniature Market, for all the gift certificates that they've given out. Uh, matter of fact, uh, those of you from last week's game, they went out today, but they are delayed a day. So you'll probably get them probably tomorrow sometime. Uh, the reason being is they are inundated with uh, orders. Now, when we started this, boy, we, we had a ton of people here. And now it's gone down quite a bit where we've only got about 50 or so people watching. So we're going to decide whether or not we're, we'll be back. I'm going to get the, the – the, I've got to take the time to get the things done that I need to get done. And uh, we'll see Absolutely. if we're able to come back, number one, able. And number two, if we're wanted to come back. If you'd like to see us come back, Send us an email at NovaPrime860 at Hotmail.com, and we'll tally it up, and we'll see if it's worth coming back. Um, Helen, it's been great having you here, as always. Uh, you are always a blessing to this channel. We, had a, we did have a quick community question. Go you ahead. If, they, if you guys got some questions, send them now. We do have a few minutes. He wanted, they wanted off. to know how you organize your paints, because it's a challenge. Um, I have one drawer where I put, I, I, try, I, I try to do them by, by color, uh, the greens, the reds, you know, I, I try to make everything by primary colors pretty much. Um, mm -hmm. I take and I put everything into these containers. So all my greens are in this container. Okay. So from dark green all the way through to a different type of green wash, to light greens, anything that has a tint of green. And I will take and just pull it out and then find the one that I need. Now, a lot of times I just mess these up and put them all in. And 
every so often he has to take some time and reorganize reorganize it so but uh you know you really we really get there now uh i'm trying to think what else we had to say uh what a way to end with the storm giant huh i know he's amazing i i particularly love the 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 blue and gold playing off of each other i think that was an excellent yeah play. i really liked uh i really liked that and He's very vibrant. He looks menacing. And uh, that's the way I wanted him to look. So who knows? Maybe he shows up in Frostgrave. He, he would <laughs> Terrorizes kind of everybody. Um, but definitely, uh, it's it's been a real joy spending time with you guys every Thursday. It's been every Thursday. And uh, I think we both need a break, to be honest with you. Yeah. It's, we're due. We're due, we're due, due. for a break. So we'll see if we come back. Uh, I enjoy doing this on Board Game Geek. It's been a real thrill to do it. And mm -hmm. just being here has been a joy. And I hope you all have enjoyed the show. Rob's so, not going to stop painting, most likely. He still paints. We will it's see what happens. We will yeah, see how depending it Depending on, he's going to get his hands fixed. And if yeah. he's able to, he will keep painting. Um, mm -hmm. He's also said he's, gonna, he's going back to oil painting. So if you all haven't watched some of our very early episodes called canvas stories mm -hmm. they are amazingly fun rob is an awesome storyteller now the, like, those won't tells, those won't be coming back till around november when it's cool yeah. out, when it's tells, really cool he tells a story and and puts it on canvas for us and you'll really enjoy it um i know i really enjoyed it back yeah. back in the day it's something you completely know, different from what we normally do though so i mean i, I look, encourage look. you to give it a go yeah, there you go. And just something different. And uh, I enjoy it. You know, I'm an old guy. I'm going to be very old very soon. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of young talent out there and a lot of guys that just have some wonderful talent. We always try to be the starting or stepping stone for you guys to get to that talent. So I hope this has helped you. It, it's meant the world to myself to come here every Thursday. And uh, to be honest with you, We'll see what happens. We'll see in a couple weeks. All right. Pick up, pick up Anything else you got, ha Helen? Pick up the brushes, folks. It's worth it. It really is. And Rob makes you, you, Rob says he, you know, he, you think Rob makes it look easy, and honestly, it's just about putting the paint on the mini. He's got lots of practice. He gives you a blueprint. And I make lots of mistakes too, and I learn and from that's, them. Honestly that's that's the biggest reward of all is is seeing all of the great minis that you guys have painted along with us oh Hello, god yeah we appreciate all your pictures we appreciate all your support miniature market appreciates your support whiz kids appreciate your support and army painters appreciates their support they've been great to us i hope they've been great to you so until next time <sighs> it is your old pal rob saying I'll see you soon. Helen, take us out of here, please. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. We look forward to seeing you again next time we're live.